influence, power, wealth. With social media usage jumping nearly tenfold in the past decade and billions of active users monthly, it seems alongside the increase of social networking, a great amount of people find themselves longing to be internet famous. Though most people live their lives in anonymity, how does some stand out from the crowd compared to others? The rise of internet fame and stardom could seem hard or completely spontaneous. Catch me outside, how about that? It seems as if you could gain attention for almost anything. We've seen examples of this in the past. Mugshot has gone viral on social media. The photos of a guy named Jeremy Meeks, and it's attracted more than 28,000 likes, if you will, and it's drawing comments praising his high cheekbones, his chiseled face, and striking blue eyes. But with it could instill a lasting impact on the world and people around you, leaving a meaningful legacy behind and having your name remembered for ages. Could there possibly be a formula or a strategy social media stars use to gain fame and maintain relevance? Though the chase to be internet famous seems like a warning path to take, you want to do so much shit. Being famous is everything. Is it really all it's cut out to be once you get to the top? Smash for the clout, dash, I'm out. Smashing for the clout. It seems as if there are a million ways to go viral. She is very gorgeous to me. <laughs> Comedy seems to take the spotlight in most cases. This is the four pointer. People are quick to like and tag their friends on memes or even the simplest clips they find funny and amusing. You find many people looking to gain notoriety through comedy. Ten motherfucking bars. Ten motherfucking seconds. Y'all think I won't. You're wrong. Put him in the dirt, put him in the shirt, put him in the cart, cut his shirt off, motherfucker. Motherfucker naked, to the bacon, mother bacon, pull a pancake, go one in a bacon. What you talk about? What you talking about? Him in a shout, him in a minute, bow, bow. We also can see clear examples of celebrities turning to comedy to gain attention and exposure. I sought out to hear first-hand perspective from someone with this exact goal in mind. Self-proclaimed online comedian Tyson Young. Using comedy as a tool to have a chance at making it big on social media. It took me about a year and a half. It was a, it was a very slow start. I would say it was pretty hard to grow because you gotta, you know, you gotta realize that it is a lot of people right now trying to go viral and blow up on Instagram and it's very hard, it's very hard to be able to be on top. Being myself, you know, when you go on social media, you look for funny things. You know, my friends as well, telling them to, you know, repost me and tag me on different things. That's the strategy I use to kind of get a, go viral. What I enjoy most about social media is just expressing my feelings and being able to know that I could do anything that I want to. The criticism and, you know, what you think is funny, other people won't. They tend to try to bring you down. They don't want to see each other win. They want to bring people down. And that's the only thing that I can say I don't like. It is easier and because, you know, you're doing stuff for attention. Yes, I do plan to use social media in a career because it's something I'm good at and it's something I want to continue doing. There's this misconception that the amount of flowers you have somewhat directly equates to the amount of money a person has in their bank account. Though we know that isn't entirely true, we know that there are in fact many ways a large following can aid you in making money using social media. You want to start making money, you're in high school still? Just like you make money.
e-commerce and social media. That or social media marketing agency. Get people to pay you because when you're young, they'll trust you with social media. Whether it be promoting affiliate products for a separate company, using visual media to promote your craft such as art pieces or handmade artwork, or simply posting your own clothing brands that you can easily direct your followers to purchase straight from a single post. And in fact, some lesser known users with a significantly less amount of followers will actually pay a better known profile to promote their account. There are many ways to be profitable using social media. I decided to get a viewpoint from someone more experienced in this area. Influencer Gabe Ferreira. Known for his alluring photography and creative videography skills, and with just over 22,000 followers, he's using social media to its fullest potential. During his senior year of high school, Gabe found himself hesitant in attending college. So after brainstorming some alternatives, he decided to build his own clothing brand, No Age Project. The term No Age to him means to live your life, despite of your age. Young or old, it's never too late to follow your dreams and passions to the best of your ability. Inspired by various designs he's come across, he's brought his vision to life. With the aid of social media and his increasing supporters, he hopes to expand his brand beyond just clothing, creating a legacy, hoping for no age to become a household name. Using social media to network, he's working with many content creators, ranging from models to other influencers. Gabe is working hard to expand his brand and demonstrating how a career can be built with the help of social media and a supportive follow. I think in today's society, the use of social media has surpassed being just a medium you go to. Whereas now, it seems as if it's becoming this virtual representation of who we are. Whether you're an artist, model, or comedian, someone with clout is simply more than just someone with a lot of followers. You hold influence over a wide range of people. And your followers have become just that, followers. People you hold influence over and impact their lives. A number of times when an artist has been incarcerated. Brooklyn rapper Takashi 69 is in federal custody facing racketeering and firearms charges. Or passes. 20-year-old Jasse Onfroy, known as rapper XXX Tentacion, has died. The Broward County It's almost as if at this time you really can see the impact they hold over their fans and other artists. It's incredible how many people were so deeply affected and moved by X. As a fan and a fellow artist, you know, just somebody's movement can bring that many people out, even in passing. But with so much responsibility, sometimes it isn't all it's cracked out to be. Graham, please get back to me about why my account is deleted. Cloud has been compared to being this new age drug that's highly sought after. The climb to internet fame is intriguing. It's all fun and experimental at first. It grows into its own hell. being. Y'all haven't seen this car in your lives. I'm out here flexing and even the real you behind. Move on and follow you for the rest of your life. Is a nine-year-old really capable of making this kind of decision? This is my decision. I'm happy with what I'm doing. And with a certain level of fame comes with the compromisation of your privacy. People will believe almost anything they see about you. He's eating it like a cob of corn. You don't eat raw chicken, and you don't eat a burrito like that. Compromising its structure by attacking And if you're not offended, you're not American. <laughs> yep, that photo of Justin Bieber eating a burrito sideways was completely staged, and we are the ones that did it. Yep. <laughs> that photo you've seen of Travis Scott allegedly cheating on a significant other, Kylie Jenner, was completely staged and we were the ones to do it. Never pulled off anything like this before, never even tried, but hey, watching the yesterday's video gave me the drive to want to pull something like this off. And the impact that has on a person is detrimental. So to answer the question, is it worth it once you get to the top? That's for you to decide.